A new court filing on Monday asks for a hearing for the governor. Uh, 12 News Tao Tao has more than what the documents say involving a defendant's attorney in the welfare fraud case. Tao? Right, Walt. Attorney Jim Wade of Tupelo on Monday asked for a hearing to look into whether Governor Tate Reeves should be made a defendant in the TANF case instead of what the legal team says control the case, among other things, if he had any influence on the former attorney Brad Pikett's unsuspected firing. Now, findings in recent days reveal Reeves' alleged involvement in the welfare fraud case in the Magnolia State, highlighting a Mississippi Today article dated August 12 on whether Reeves inspired his fitness trainer Paul Lacoste, a defendant in the lawsuit to illegally receive welfare funds. Now, Wade told 12 News he doesn't believe it's in his defendant's best interest to speak on the ongoing civil suit right now. We did reach out to Brad Pigott's law firm multiple times and have not heard back. Now, a statement from the Mississippi Department of Human Services reads, in part, MDHS worked with the Attorney General, who by statute must approve selection of outside counsel. We anticipate a formal announcement following approval of the proposed contract with Jones-Walker by the State Personnel Board. Now, the State Personnel Board is expected to meet Thursday at 10 a.m where they will review the new contract with Walker, who is replacing Pikett. Back to you, Melanie.